Grieving the loss of a loved one is incredibly painful. When that loved one is a child or co-parent, it's especially difficult. And while there's no right or wrong way to grieve, there are healthier and more compassionate ways to cope with losing someone or something important to us. Grieving is a natural organic process to cope with loss. Our grieving process is unique to us and can vary greatly depending on our personality, ability to navigate other difficult emotions in life, our life history, experiences, things like that. Grieving can also feel different depending on the context of our loss, like the type of relationship or object it was, the importance of it, uh, how we make meaning of it, and how we came to lose this. I'd also like to acknowledge here that there's no easy way out of grief, and there's not much anyone can say to make it less painful. Uh, comforting words don't make the feelings go away. It's just one of those things we need to feel for a period of time, and they may actually impact us throughout our lives in one way or another. However, having said this, allowing ourselves the full depths of our grief also allows us to experience the full depths of happiness, aliveness, connectedness, and ultimately peace. We become three-dimensional human beings when we allow ourselves the full capacity of our feelings. So let's talk about some ways to cope with grief. First of all, it's super important to be compassionate with ourselves for whatever we're feeling in whatever time frame we're feeling it in. If we judge our own reaction to loss, we can get in the way of our own natural grieving process. So for example, common self-judgments I hear about are that our feelings aren't strong enough or on the other hand, too intense. It can feel like we're going crazy. Sometimes we can have self-judgments that we're not grieving long enough or taking too long to grieve. Maybe we feel guilty for engaging with life or experiencing moments of relief, happiness, or pleasure. Or maybe feeling like all our experiences are sadness and feeling disconnected. My point here is that whenever we judge ourselves for our thoughts and feelings, this can cut us off from our own organic ability to feel, heal, and to continue to engage with our lives more fully. Secondly, it can be helpful to realize common stages and symptoms of grief to kind of normalize the experience for ourselves as long as we don't judge ourselves for not feeling a particular way we believe we're supposed to. A psychiatrist by the name of Elizabeth Kubler-Ross in 1969 developed the five stages of grief, which include denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Again, this can feel more like a roller coaster ride with multiple feelings happening at the same time or randomly coming up when we least expect it. Other common symptoms are tearfulness, sadness, shock, relief, disconnectedness, guilt, fear, existential angst, really reckoning with our own mortality, and a whole slew of physical symptoms, including sleeplessness, to oversleeping, to nausea, to changes in our weight or eating habits, to physical pain. Another essential way to cope with loss is self-care. We need to continue doing the four basics, even or especially if we don't feel like it. So number one is good nutrition. Number two is exercise. Number three is sleep. And number four is connecting with social support. This really allows us to be operating at our best to deal with these difficult emotions. And I'd like to reiterate the importance of social support for the grieving process. We really do need the support from trusted people in our lives and sometimes the help of a grief group or a therapist to help us through the process and to support us in re-engaging with life. Grief is something we all have to face at one time or another in our lives, and doing so with spaciousness, compassion, and care helps us through the process. So lastly, I'd really appreciate it if you could show your support for my Gaze with Kids video series by hitting the subscribe button on their YouTube channel. Thanks and take good care.